Hi hey guys, welcome back. So today we will be learning how to create this to-do list app. Let me just show you how this works first. Basically, there's a text box, right? And also the add button as well. So you want to add any uh, items you want to complete within the day. You can just write it here. So let's just say uh, learn how to code in JavaScript for 20 minutes. Then you can just add this and it will show it down here right with the delete button as well and say if you want to um, watch Hong Lee text channel on how to code in react then you can just um, add it here and also um, create any react projects um, just add it like um, more realistic right that you can complete within the day then this is just uh, for example right and next you can just click on this say if you have already learned how to code in JavaScript for 20 minutes then you can just click this to cross it meaning that it's done and if you have already watched my YouTube video on how to code in react or create like react project you can also click cross cross as well right and with this button you can just um, delete anything so let's just you make an error in the list right you just write randomly like this then you want to delete this you can also click on this to delete okay so now let's learn how to code this application okay so this is what we got so far uh, we have the uh, h1 tags uh, with the text uh, to do list and we export this as to do list right so basically first you need to create this file called to do list.js and now we can import it uh, in the app.js from to do list and we basically just show everything that we have in this um, file so now let's start writing the application um, we have imported the react and also the use state from uh, react as well so right here we can start um, defining the to do with s and also set to do's equal to use state we're going to use the state and this is the empty um, let me fix this empty array and down here let's just write the new to do okay and set new to do with the use state and this one is the uh, empty string so basically whatever that we type in the uh, text box this is set as the string and we want to add it to the list then it will store in the array type okay and now let's write a function call handle add to do inside here so we're going to write new to do dot trim if this is not equal to empty meaning that it does exist then we want to set the set to do and also with this one here we want to copy everything that we have and then here it will be text new to do trim and here we also need to um, use the checks as well um, by default we set this to false so if we click on one of the checks then it will just cross out um, the text right and now we want to set the to do back to empty we want to clear out the uh, input text so this is one of the um, function that we have and also the other one is the handle toggle to do um, this will take us the index okay just write like this first and we also need to have the other one as well call handle delete to do this will work with the um, delete button so this is index and yep um, let's just write the one down here so this will have the input 
okay um, the input it's the self closing uh, tag so we have the type as text value the value will be new to do okay and we also have the on change this is the event so we set new to do whatever that we have type in the um, text box then it will just uh, store here and change it um, directly in this uh, text box as well and we will have the button so the button is the on click um, this will be the handle add to do so handle add to do and we call this as add okay the button call add let's just have a look first okay so this is what I have and then we want to also looping through um, the list right so we're going to use the um, another list and inside here this will be to do's dot maps and we map one by one with the index so inside here we have the list okay so um, don't forget to add the key as well otherwise we see the warning message so here we have the input and the type this time it is the checkbox okay we need to also do the styling as well but for now let's just uh, keep it as is and this is the checked to do not checked and then we call the uh, function so the function will be handle toggle to do with the index as well okay just save that so now let's just add something right okay we see the checkbox but we haven't really showing or see any uh, text yet we have to show it underneath here so this will be let's just use spend uh, we also need to do some styling as well but let's just keep it as is and here basically we showed it to do dot text okay so here it is it is now showing and what happened when I click here okay it will just cross this but let's just create the uh, delete button for now um, the delete button it will be also inside this uh, ally as well so next to the uh, showing the text right the items um, this will be the button okay button um, with the on click event so this on click this one is handle delete to do it has the um, index as well we want to know which one we want to delete and let's just call this as delete button okay okay so now let's just um, add the functionality right so right here it's nothing happened so let's just uh, work on the this one here uh, to do first uh, delete so um, we have the cons new to do's we will just want to copy everything that we have in the to do's okay put it in the new um, to do then new to do's we want to use the javascript function called slides and we want to know the index and then we just uh, remove one um, element from the uh, list right from the array and then we want to set the new to do's to new to do's okay look like that so let's just test this functionality okay click on that it remove now let's work on the toggle to do so this one here it will has the new to do the same thing right copy existing one from the list 
and we want to have the new to do's uh, the current index see if it checks or not um, if it's uh, checks then we just want to do the opposite of it right so the new to do's index checked so if we check we cl uh, click once then it will uncheck if it uncheck click one it will um, be checked and then we set the new to do to new to do okay like that let's just test this so let's add something um, if I want to click here okay then it now uh, you can see it's uh, check and check right it just do the opposite every time that click on this and we want to click on this and this tag it cross out okay so we need to do um, this one related to the styling so that works on this one um, this one is the um, here the span right let's just try the styling here so in here we will have uh, first we want to have a uh, margin right so right here just close no um, space at all let's just do margin right first um, let's set this to 10 pixel and then um, the next one will be the text decoration um, the to do we want to check the uh, to do checked see um, if it check if it check then we just want to style this as line through otherwise we keep it as is we put none okay let's test this out okay so it check cross it out if not then we just want to um, just show it as is right and now we have styled this as well um, what about the next one um, let's just uh, remove this um, dot here in the front right okay so this is the ally we want to style this so let's just at the style um, here this will be display flex okay so yep that's gone and we need to also center this as well so to center this um, we have to use the okay uh, another div tag um, so let's just quickly write one diff and here the style we use the display flex and we want to also align the items uh, within this div tag to be in the center okay let's just move all of this okay to be inside this div tag right let's have a look okay so here it is we have this uh, it aligns center properly right um, so we might want to have the space in between the um, delete button as well so we just need to style it here this will be style and Let's just use uh, margin top with 5 pixel margin button button also 5 pixel okay let's take a look all right we have the space everything is needed just type randomly okay yeah it's showing properly now okay guys so yep that's pretty much um, the application okay guys so one more thing to add here is that if you were to write everything exact uh, as you can see here right you will not see like the color of the button in blue the same for the input as well with the same uh, styling here right so what you have to do you just need to go to the index.css and write some CSS uh, right here as well so um, I use the max width uh, 200 pixel with the padding and stuff, right? If uh, let's just say I commented all of this out without using it, and this is what it looked like, right? Looking a little bit um, weird, not that modern. And the same for the button as well. So if you are not using this, this is the result that you see, okay? So 
let's just uncomment it this and also with the cursor as well when I hover on it you see like there's a pointer right so yeah, that is the other thing that I want to add. So let's just uh, recap what we have, right? Um, we have created like um, the to-dos uh, using the use state with the empty array and also with the uh, empty string as well. And this is the function for the add to-dos. And then um, down here, this is the uh, function for the lead to-do and the toggle to-do, the checkbox. And then um, down here we have the inbox. Okay, so uh, we can just type anything and we click on the add button, then we just add to the list. And this is just looping through the list, um, whatever that we have in the, um, the, the uh, to do's, right? It will just add a new one on top of it and it looping through this and we can see this uh, result. And um, we click on the uh, checkbox, then it will just check right, using the uh, line cross, right? And um, here I use the inline styling, right? If you want to also separate this and put it into a separate like CSS file, you can also do that as well. But um, because this is like uh, only a minimal styling, uh, like uh, uh, just a little bit, then I can just uh, really write it here. And we have the uh, delete button, we call the uh, to-do, we want to know the current index uh, of the um, to-do, um, which one that we want to uh, delete from the list, right, which item, okay. So um, yeah, that is it. Uh, now, before I finish this video, let's just um, show you, right, from scratch, um, just do a proper to-do list. Uh, let's just say um, as a content creator, right? Like what are my to-do list? Basically first I um, create, let's just do like create a, a tutorial on how to create a to-do list app in React or React.js, okay? Just put React, okay? So this is um, one of them and then um, I, what else do I need to do? I need to edit the video um, just to cut out some uh, necessary uh, part that are not necessary, right? Edit the video, uh, also add some animation as well. And um, what else? I need to upload the video to YouTube, okay? Um, also schedule as well. So schedule the video um to be published on saturday all right and what else um i need to also push the code to github and share you the link uh, you can find all the source code in the uh, video description right so these are the thing um yeah i think yeah that pretty much it let's just say if uh, right now i have already uh, record a video right I can just take it off done and then I can start working on editing the video just cut it short upload it to YouTube schedule it on uh, to be published on Saturday also push the code to github and share you the link okay and then once I done uh, all of the list I can just remove this as well right so this application is not storing in the database or anything. It's just like a simple show you how uh, it works. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you like it and also like this video if you find it useful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.